Alright, in this video I'll show you how to create a new project in ORCAD Capture and what happens when you create a new project. So have ORCAD Capture open, then go to New Project. In the project name, only include letters and numbers in the project name. No special characters like dashes, underscores, ampersands, or anything like that. Don't, don't include a period or space either. Alright, when you're creating a new project, using section here you can go to piece by analog or mixed ad that's if you want to simulate your design but a lot of times you can't simulate your design so you may need to choose a pc board wizard this allows you to do a system level design with more, more than one schematic or multiple boards that need to connect to each other there's also the programmable logic wizard now this allows you to do some fpga simulation and things like that and lastly, there's just a general basic schematic for new users, especially who are working with just one circuit design. Then this section here shows you the location. I have all of my project inside of my project work folder, and then I put them in different folders depending on the project name. So you would select a new folder and give it a name like new project today. Well, that's a bad name. Something like March 11th, right? Then you select the folder. This is a blank folder, but look what happens when you create the project. Select folder, and then we'll call this new project, no spaces, one. And that's just schematic and click OK. OK, so here's what happens when you create a new project. Three files get created. One is the .opj file or the original peanut butter and jelly file, I like to call it. And this is generally a jar that holds your PB and J design files, and that would include one design file. You get one .dsn, that's DSN file, that is stored in a project, and you only get one .dsn file per project. You don't get multiple DSN files, just one. And then what is this DSN LCK file? Well, this is a lock file. As long as this DSN lock file is open, nobody else can edit the project. And what happens when you close the project? Well, the DSN lock file will disappear. I'll show you that. All right, so this lock file disappears, allowing the project to be opened and edited. But as long as you have a project open, it cannot be changed or edited while the uh, lock file is there. You can delete the lock file while the project is open, but that's dangerous because somebody else can edit your project if you're using a shared computer. All right, so that is how you would create a new project in ORCAD Capture. So if you found this video to be helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And when you subscribe, you'll be getting updates to my channel on ORCAD Capture, ORCAD Capture CIS, ORCAD P-Spice, and ORCAD and Allegro PCB Editor, explaining everything step by step on how the software really works and what's going on in your design. So again, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and also check out learnorcadonline.com where I teach you more about ORCAD so you can finish the electronics design flow and finish your own uh, printed circuit boards. There's some cool tips, and I also provide coaching as well in case you don't want to do a full course or the short videos are not enough. I can teach you step by step in person or online how to finish a project if you really need to get something finished. All right, thank you for watching.